Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod's IS classes. We are continuing this series of UPSC prelims analysis. So in this lecture, we are going to see answers for 31st to 40 questions. So these 31st to 40 questions are related to your science and technology. So now first let us try to see 31st question. Consider the following Arugya Setu, Covin, Digilocker, Diksha. So which of the above built on top of open source digital platforms? So as you all know this Arugya Setu, it is regarding your COVID-19, okay, COVID-19 tracking app. And this one is COVID platform. As you all know, I think you might have applied for getting vaccination under this COVID platform. And this one is DigiLocker. So under this DigiLocker, you can keep your documents safe digitally. And this one is Diksha. So Diksha, it is a platform. It is nothing but digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing. And actually it is a national teacher platform. So all these four are built on open source digital platform. So correct option will be D1, 2, 3 and 4. And next question is regarding Web 3.0. So this Web 3.0, it is highly seen in use. So actually, if you want to go with this question, you have to know difference between this Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. Then only you can easily go for this question. So first statement is Web 3.0 technology, which mainly enables people to control their own data. So if you're talking about Web 3.0, it is a decentralized internet. It is a decentralized internet and this internet, which is going to be run on this blockchain technology. So under this Web 3.0, there are some advantages. Yes, under this here, people, they can control their own data and it mainly runs on this blockchain technology. And next one is here under this web 2.0 internet it is con it is mainly controlled mainly by some few companies but now here under this web 3.0 so web uh, internet will be operated by users correctly rather than a corporation so if you see the statements now now you can easily go for analyzing the statements so first one is web 3.0 technology which mainly enables people to control their own data yes this option is absolutely correct and next one is in web 3.0 world there can be blockchain based social networks yes and this one is web 3.0 is operated by users collectively rather than a corporation yes this statement is also correct so correct option will be d 1 2 and 3 and next question is regarding SaaS, that is software as a service. First, you have to know what is this SaaS. SaaS, it is nothing but, it is a, it is a thing that is like we can share applications. So it is like a delivering, okay. It is like a delivering app that is mainly done through internet rather than using any machines. Okay, instead of using any machines, we are going to deliver app through internet. So this is SaaS. Okay, so under this SaaS, what will be the advantages? So SaaS buyers can customize their user interface and they can change the data fields. Yes, so nowadays in this work from home, which is mainly done by the software companies. Yes, if you are giving the data, they will be mainly customizing the app for us. And it's only SaaS users, they can access their data through their mo mobile devices. Yes, of course. Outlook, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, they are some forms of SaaS, yes. So that option will be D, 1, 2 and 3. And next question it is regarding some concept. So which of the following statements best reflects idea behind fractional orbital bombardment system? Okay, it is talking about fractional orbital bombardment system. So this system which mainly came up by Russia in 1960s itself. So if you see the options, the first option is it is a hypersonic missile launched into space to counter the asteroid approaching the earth and explore it in space. And next option is a spacecraft lands on another planet after making several orbital motions. And next question is a missile is put into a stable orbit around the earth and deorbits over the target on the earth. And option D is a spacecraft moves along a comet with the same speed and places the probe on its surface. 
so correct option is it is a missile it is a missile it is mainly put into a stable orbit around the earth and de orbits over the target of the earth so actually here in this fractional orbital bombardment system it is like a warhead delivery system okay it is like a warhead delivery system and whenever we are using this low earth orbit okay for this warhead delivery so once it is reaching target so before reaching its target itself it will be deorbited okay it will be deorbited by by burning of engine so that option will be c and next question it is very very easy so this 35th question it is regarding so which one of the following is the context in which term qubit is mentioned so qubit is mentioned in quantum computing it is a very very simple question and next question it is regarding communication technologies so consider the following communication technologies so first one is closed circuit television radio frequency identification wireless local area network so which of the above are considered as short range device or technology so actually this short range device or technology they are called as near field communication technology okay near field communication technology so under this near field communication technology they mainly transmit the data through electromagnetic waves electromagnetic radio fields electromagnetic radio fields so here this closed circuit television radio frequency identification wireless local area network all comes under this short range device technology so option here is 1 2 and 3 and next one it is regarding biofilms so that is our question here is consider the following statements so biofilms can form on medical implants within human tissues so biofilms can form on food and food processing surfaces so biofilms can exhibit antibiotic resistance so first of all you need to know biofilms so biofilms is nothing but it is an organized association of microorganisms and these microbial cells they are other in a such a way that so they will be closely packed and they will be forming a surface so this surface can be formed both on living and as well as non-living surfaces so because of this here biofilms can form on medical implants and even they can form on food and as well as food processing surfaces and biofilms they can exhibit antibiotic resistance as well so that option is d 1 2 and 3 and next question it is regarding probiotics so first one here is probiotics are made up of both bacteria and yeast so you will be having some doubt whether yeast is there or not so if you have went to any supermarket so you will be getting probiotics in in yakult in yakult you will be having five bottles like thing uh, plastic bottles with with this size here and they will be having probiotics so actually it is made up of yeast okay probiotics are made up of both bacteria and as well as yeast and even actually due to this COVID-19, yes, probiotics are seen highly in use and many doctors, they suggested mainly to take buttermilk, okay, which is a very, very sore buttermilk. So that will be having high amount of yeast that will be helpful as probiotics. And the organisms and probiotics are found in the foods we ingest, but they do not naturally occur in our gut. But these probiotics that will be occurred naturally in our gut. So this statement will be eliminated. And next one is probiotics help in digest of milk sugars. Yes, this statement is absolutely correct. So correct option is C, 1 and 3. And next question is regarding COVID-19 vaccines. So in context of vaccines manufactured to prevent COVID-19 pandemic, consider the following statement. So first statement here is, SII Serum Institute of India produced COVID-19 vaccine and the name here is Covishield. So Covishield is a mRNA platform but in this Covishield they used vector that is adenovirus, chimpanzee's adenovirus which is mainly used as a vector. So it is a vector based platform but not mRNA based platform. And this one is Sputnik 5, it is mainly manufactured using this vector based platform. Yes, Covaxin is an inactivated pathogen based vaccine, yes. So correct option will be 2 and 3, option B is correct answer. And next is 40 questions, so it is the last question for this video. And it is a very very big question, so entire section, half of the section which is mainly occupied by this question itself. So question here is, if a major solar storm solar fair 
that is solar storm is also called a solar flare reaches the earth which of the following are possible effects that means what will be the effects of the solar flares okay solar flares are also called as solar winds yes it will be affecting our gps and navigation system yes this is absolutely correct and if you see options yes one is present so you can eliminate this option b and second statement here is tsunamis could occur at equatorial region so what is the relationship between this solar flares and tsunamis tsunamis normally happens because of earthquakes but not this solar flares you can eliminate this statement so if you see this uh, second eliminate the second statement so correct option will be c okay so in this way elimination method is very very easy to clear this upsc prelims and third statement here is power grids could be damaged yes and intense auroras that could be occur on the earth yes and next one is forest fire could take place over much of the planet it is not like that and orbits of the satellites could be disturbed yes orbits of the satellites could be disturbed and next one is uh, short wave okay next one is short wave radio communication of this air flight flying over polar regions that could be interrupted yes okay so in this way here op correct options are 1 3 4 6 and 7 correct option is c so these are the answers for questions from 31st to 40 in the next video we are going to see answers for the 41 to 50 questions in this video we are going to see answers for 41 till 50 questions of this year upsc prelims so this questions are mainly based on your environment and ecology okay and now let us try to see first question so first question it is regarding climate action tracker which monitors the emission reduction pledges of different countries it is a so why this climate action tracker is in use so actually it came up with a report recently it said that even though if you are implementing ambitious goals okay to reduce this greenhouse emission gases so there will be increasing of 2.4 degree centigrade of temperature by 2100 year so because of this is a news i discussed that topic in our hindu analysis so while i discussed that topic i also explained you about this climate action tracker it is a database created by the coalition of research organization so option a is correct answer and next question it is regarding the climate group actually the questions from this uh, environment and ecology is a bit tough bit difficult so only if you have gone through that uh, topics from current affairs only then you can easily answer but unless and until you don't have knowledge regarding current affairs you can't clear this questions so here this environment section is somewhat difficult compared to polity and economy like that So here second question the 42nd question here is the climate group is this an international non profit organization that drives climate action by building large networks and run them yes this climate group it is international non profit organization and second statement is iea in partnership with climate group launched this global initiative ep100 so actually it is not okay actually it is not and next one is EP100 brings together leading companies committed to driving innovation energy efficiency and increase competitiveness while delivering on emission reduction goals yes so actually this ep is a partnership uh, with an alliance and it is mainly focusing on safe energy or okay, safe energy and it is mainly going to bring a growing group of energy smart companies together and some ep companies are members or uh, some indian companies are members of this ep 100 yes and international agency it is secretary to this under two coalition but for under two coalition this climate group itself it is secretariat so if you know only this fifth statement which is wrong means you can easily easily go for the correct answer that is option b is correct answer and next question 43rd question it is if rain forest and tropical forest they are the lungs of the earth then surely wetlands functions as kidneys so what is the function of kidney that is elimination right so which one of the following functions of wetlands best reflects the above statement so first one is a water cycle in wetlands involves sufficient runoff subsoil percolation and evaporation so actually it is not related to kidneys that is elimination and next one is algae 
from the nutrient base upon which fish, crustaceans, molluscans, bird, reptiles and mammals thrive. It is not at all correct. And next one is wetlands play an important or vital role in maintaining the sedimentation balance but it is not function of uh, kidneys. So here aquatic plants they absorb heavy metals and excess nutrients. Yes, this is a function which is related to kidney somewhat. So the correct option is D. And next question is 44. So in context of WHO air quality guidelines, recently, recently in October, September 2021, WHO came up with new air quality guidelines. So if you know that, then you can easily go through this question. So first statement here is 24 however mean of this particulate matter 2.5 should not exceed 15 micrograms per meter cube. And next one is annual mean that is per year PM 2.5 should not exceed 5 micrograms per meter cube. Yes. And in a year highest level of ozone pollution occurs during the periods of inclement weather. So if you know meaning of this inclement weather then you can easily usually eliminate this statement. So inclement weather means cool and as well as rainy. Okay. That weather is called as inclement weather. So actually the highest level of ozone that is mainly seen in the summer season and during wildfires but not in this inclement weather. So you can eliminate this statement. And next one is PM10 can penetrate the lung barrier and enter into bloodstream. Yes. And even ozone, exo amount of ozone is there means. So this will mainly trigger asthma. So these are the side effects of pollution that we already studied in our Hindu analysis. So the correct option will be A, 1, 3 and 4. And next question is regarding Gucci. So here with reference to Gucci sometimes mentioned in news concern the following statements. So it is a Gucci, it is a type of mushroom. So mushroom is nothing but fungi. So it is a fungus, yes. It is mainly grown in some Himalayan forest areas, yes. And it is a commercially cultivated in the Himalayan food hills. So till now it is not commercially cultivated. So you can eliminate the third statement and correct option is C1 and 2. And next question is regarding PET that is polyethylene terephthalate. So with reference to polyethylene terephthalate, the use of which is so widespread in our daily lives consider the following statements. So its fiber can be blended with wool and cotton fibers to reinforce their properties. Yes, absolutely correct. And next one is containers made of it can be used to store any alcoholic beverages. So we can't use for storing of this alcoholic beverages. So for storing of alcoholic beverages, we can use glass, not this PET. So you can eliminate this. And bottles made of it can be recycled into another product. Actually, it is not biodegradable. And next one is articles made of it can be easily disposed by in incineration without causing this greenhouse emissions. So here the correct option is C, 1 and 4. And next question is which of the following is not a bird? Golden Mashir, Indian Nightjar, Spoonbill, Wild Ibis. So sometimes we will be see, seeing this Spoonbill and Wild Ibis in news. And you might be have confused with this Indian Nightjar and Golden Mashir. So this Golden Mashir it is a fish species. And recently IUCN which mainly declared it as endangered, endangered category. So this is in news. And the answer is a gold mashir. And 48th question here is which of the following are nitrogen fixing plants? So this is from your basic static science. So A is al aflafa. Next one is amarnath, chickpea, clover, porcelain or kulfa. Next one is spinach. So if you go through these options, one will be very much clear that so this chickpea is a nitrogen fixing bacteria, uh, fixing plant. So if you see in options here, we can see these three option only in A and B. Okay. So here you will be having a doubt with spinach. So spinach that we will be using in our daily food, but it is not a not a nitrogen fixing plant. So that option will be A, one, three, and four. And next question it is regarding bio rock technology. Actually, this biotech rock technology is in use. So bio rock technology is talked about in which one of the following situations, especially this bio rock technology, which is mainly used for restoration of this damaged coral reef. So correct option will be A. And last question here is the Miyawaki method. So I discussed number of times regarding this Miyawaki method in our Hindu news analysis. So if you're following our Hindu analysis, so you can easily guess answer for this Miyawaki method. So the Miyawaki method is well known for the 
First option is promotion of commercial farming in arid and as well as semi-arid areas. And next one is development of gardens using genetically modified flora. Creation of mini forest in urban areas. Next one is harvesting wind energy on coastal areas and on sea surfaces. So the correct option is it is mainly focusing on creation of forest in the urban areas. Especially Telangana state which is mainly following this Milwaukee method for urban areas. Okay, forestation in urban areas. So the correct option is C. So these are the answers for these questions from this environment and ecology section. And the next lecture we are going to see answers from 51 to 60 questions. So please be focused. And by this I am concluding. Thank you so much.